tragedy strikes as the owner of the Clay Teen estate and zoo has unfortunately passed away at the ripe old age of 92. In his last will and testimony, he asked that his legacy be continued and that his entire estate be dedicated to the expansion of the zoo. And that is what has happened, starting with new backstage facilities, including a state-of-the-art animal hospital to treat and house any sick animals. And at the far side of the zoo is a new bear complex. And what an improvement it is from the old enclosures. Look at that, there aren't even any bars. How modern. Hello everyone, and welcome back, finally, to Plain Dane Zoo. Oh, it's been a while, it's been several months. You know, um, but yeah, we're finally back with a new episode. I haven't forgotten about this project. I've been building in Cloudfall Zoo quite a bit. I'm enjoying that a little bit more, but haven't forgotten about this. I do have some new stuff to show that I've been slowly but surely building on. In fact, like some of the buildings I've been making that I've actually finished before the North America DLC dropped, and now there's North America dropped, then Europe dropped, and I think. But when I'm recording this, Wetland Pack is gonna drop on Monday, so. Yeah, this is, it's it's been long, but I got I got some new stuff to show you. I haven't forgotten about this project just yet. We're gonna continue it. In case you don't know what Claintain Zoo is, it's my historical zoo project. So yeah, each episode reflects uh, progress through the zoo's timeline. So the first episode was the late 1800s or yeah 1800s. Now, this current year, I believe it's 1939. So yeah, instead of going through the zoo entrance this time, we're gonna go over here to the side entrance. I believe the story told the intro was that the, the owner of the estate died and he decided to donate the estate to the government. And so now we're continue, the government's gonna continue building the zoo on the rest of the estate because essentially the zoo is only on one half of the estate, but now the entire thing is gonna go to become a zoo but as you can see we've got some new buildings over here on the side and this is the backstage area for the zoo so we have a little bit of backstage but now we're officially building some proper stuff and yeah the backstage this is the most recent thing i've built but it's also like a i don't know not the, the most detailed thing i built but it's still good up here we have the big old vet building so this would have been built in 1936 because that's when joburg zoo built their first that building. Yeah, as you can see we've got some cages on the side. Some bigger ones for like some big cats or maybe dogs and some smaller ones for like say monkeys or smaller carnivores. They are north facing so they'll constantly get sunlight and animals can stay warm. There is no interior. You'll see these windows are blocked out and yeah, it's good. No interior. I don't know, I couldn't be motivated to do the interior. I wanted to but if I actually had to build the interior, it would take another six months for this episode to come out, so... Yeah. No interior for the the vet building, fortunately, but it looks decent from the outside, I think. And eventually I will build a, a modern vet building, veterinary animal hospital thing. And that one I do want to do an interior on, probably nice and modern. I'm not sure what to put in a an early 20th century animal hospital but yeah you also got some new backstage cages so we got some aviaries this one has some uh, eagle owls inside didn't really put too much detailing inside of them but yeah we got some macaws as well this is a preview of what's gonna come some animals are gonna come in the next episode the macaws by the way were made by Druck so check out his macaw pack I do have a workshop collection for Claintain Zoo so just click on that and you'll see all the blueprints I've used for this project, including these really nice macaws. And over here we have uh, some bigger cages, some bigger birds, so here we have some pheasants. And yeah, these are the, uh, these, what are they, the common pheasants or ringneck pheasant, that's the, that's the modern name for them. These were made, I believe, by Ginger Toast and Leaf. So yeah, the females here and the males here, and the reason why they're in two separate cages is because there's literally no traversable area in this exhibit. 
so yeah, they were both in the same cage, they would both be right on top of each other. But yeah. Then come along here, we also have some other cages, and we got a civet. So maybe the civet was a little bit sick and came backstage. And again, no traversable area, so it's just standing in the one spot. I did also try and put some animals in the cages on the side of the animal hospital, but uh, yeah, animals could not traverse it. I tried to put lions in, nope, cheetahs, no, and then I even went to the small modded cats like the serval or the caracal, and they also have no traversable area, so those are empty, unfortunately. But yeah, we also got some hoof stock backstage cages, so yeah, we got some, uh, some zebras. You know they're probably going to come into the zoo, join our herd. And some new antelopes. We got the Bontabok. And these were made by Leaf and Mark Run, I believe. So all, the, all the mods will be in the description, so check that out. You see you made what? Oh yeah, the civet was made by Narwhala, I've got to say. Yeah, also got some like, you know, shade structures, some hay. Some boxes, these boxes I believe are part of a backstage pack made by Carlos. Yeah, I spammed a lot of, there's some more items from the pack that I just spammed in different spots. Just flesh out the area. I'm also going to go to an area that, you know, it's an old area, this is the farm part of the estate. But yeah, with the European pack came out, I added some decals, so we can uh, just add some weathering to some of the old buildings so this is like one of the first buildings made in the estate and you can see it's developed some cracks some plasters falling off revealing bricks okay if you go in the stables themselves ooh. you can see some grunge on the floors and against the walls there surprisingly isn't a horse or a donkey mod Otherwise, I would have them in here because, you know, the zoo gives horse and donkey rides along with the camels and elephants. But yeah, there's no mods for any domesticated donkeys or horses. There's a zonkey mod. There's a miniature donkey, but not like a regular donkey. And there's wild horses, but no regular horses. So yeah, if we get those mods, I'll put them in here. But probably saw them running in the back. So we've got some cattle here. These are some Holstein Friesland cattle, made by Leaf and Monsoon, so yeah, they're filling up this pen. Yeah, you know, because this used to be an estate, so they'd have livestock, and then you also need a way to feed the animals, and yeah, your lion food, my friend. Slaughter the cattle and feed them to the lions and tigers and whatnot, because you know, there's no, no real... I don't think has refrigeration been invented yet. I don't know, but it's like hard to get a hold of meat. I don't know if I said the story before, but way back in the day, the Johannesburg Zoo, uh, you didn't necessarily have to buy a ticket to go in the zoo if you brought your dead pets. Yeah, so, and they would use that to feed the animals. Like I said, meat was hard to get a hold of. In the Hrotaskia Zoo, they had donkeys and cows on the property and they would slaughter those animals to feed the carnivores. So yeah. Maybe should make some signs for the, the zoo entrance saying fee of admittance, you can give money or you can bring your dead rat or cow or cat to feed our animals with. We also have some goats. There's only three left so the zoo should probably uh, import some more. These are boar goats also made by Leaf. Okay, we've got three. I should, I should add some more. They could probably actually jump this fence easy, but now they're good goats. They, they stay in, spa in their space. Maybe I should also add a sheep mod and bring in some sheep here. But yeah, that's this is this is stuff we've seen before. It's just adding new life to it with some modded animals, which is nice. Come back here. I got a few extra stuff in the backstage. I have built two new warehouses. Yeah, I'm not sure which these are based on. I just looked for some pictures of some old warehouses and these look cool. So, got some panels you can slide open. And yeah, got a whole bunch of random junk. Got some bricks, some wood, planks, and poles. And these again are from the Carlos's pack. Then in this one, this is a hay store. 
ungulates, yeah. Just a whole bunch of hay that you can take out to feed the ungulates with. And yeah, using these decals. I still need to use them properly on all the old buildings, but I like this. I like how they, they, t they came out on this building here. Yeah, and these are, these are the old houses we had in the in the zoo, like right at the beginning. So these these stood up, and these are just staff rooms now. But yeah, that's the backstage area. Nothing too special, it's backstage. I don't really like building backstage, which is kind of why it's a bit... Some of it is lazily put together, but... It's the start, and slowly but surely we will add more stuff. Like I said, I'll build a modern vet veterinary hospital, add new cages and staff buildings over time as we go along because that's the project but anyway on to the animals themselves we'll take a little bit of a walk see the old exhibits because it's been a while there's our kangaroos our ostriches and our zebras you can see them there they are but if we keep going along here we can see our old bear house and if you're smart and can read the title of this video, you would know that we got some new bear exhibits. So, yeah, these things are empty. We had some brown bears and some Asian black bears here, but we've all gone to new exhibits, which we'll see, I believe, at the end of the video. That'll be like the last thing we check. I'm gonna walk this way. I think actually we should go. Yeah, we should go here. Down this way, and through the playground. Here's our wolf cage. And our, this is the this is the polar bear pit. The polar bears, they the polar bears are still in here. Eventually, I think I will move the polar bears out of this cage into the new bear exhibits, but I'll see you in the future because yeah. For now, they they're still in their crappy little polar bear pit. It's gonna be there for some oh quite a while actually. If we walk this way, this is an aviary I've seen before, but I remember when I first showed up this aviary, I said I was going to make a vulture pack. And it's, um, it has been some time, but Brock then contacted me and he was like, hey, you want to make a vulture pack together? And I was like, yeah, so Brock came and took some of my cape vultures and updated them a bit, so you can see they're looking a little bit, little bit nicer. And yeah, we, we started on that pack, and we forgot about it, it's been a few months. And yeah, I said, Rock, hey, we should probably release some of our vultures. So, I don't think, I'm not sure if the pack will be out when this video is uploaded, but very soon afterwards, because Drac did want to make a few changes to it. But check the collection or the description, and you should be able to see the vultures. If not when this video comes out, at least like a little bit afterwards. And you can finally add some vultures to your zoos. These are, the vulture pack has old world vultures, so these are specifically, I think, cape vultures or white back vultures. What did I decide? Cape vultures or cape griffin, which is the old name. And there's also some other old world vultures like a uh, bearded vulture, palm nut vulture, Eurasian griffin, lappet face. Those are the few I can remember, but yeah. Now, via we got a new building. This is uh, one of the more prouder things I am of in this uh, episode. Which is weird because it's a bathroom. Yeah, just uh, these are based on ones I saw at the Johannesburg Botanical Gardens. Because those are some really old bathrooms. But yeah, it's pretty much similar to that. On this side, we got the sink. We got some cubicles with some actual toilets inside and a toilet paper dispenser. Another sink. And then the botanical garden, they do have these um, weird little rooms in the middle of the bathroom complex where you can... Yeah, I'm not sure what they're for before, but I copied them here. They also have the windows, you can actually like look inside these rooms. I don't know why, but you can see a sink, so maybe it's like a little washroom if you have an event or something. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these bathrooms turned out. On this side we have the men's side, so we've got some urinals. Making good use of these decal pieces, as you can see. Also a little bit of a... Yep, this one's occupied. 
Got an angry archer sitting inside that bathroom there. And using these, um. What are these pieces are? These immersive window panels. These are these are good uh, window pieces. They're not window, sorry, mirror pieces. Got a bit of a reflection on them. Yeah, we've got another bathroom complex on there. It's pretty much identical to this one, so. You can just look at it from the outside, but really it's all the same. Anyway, we're gonna go a little bit back here because you can see I've got some new hoofstock exhibits. So yeah, we already had hoofstock exhibits here, but I wasn't too happy with them. The shelters as well, especially, they looked a bit too modern, so yeah, I added some old and style shelters, also added new exhibits, new enclosures, and updated the fence so it looked actually like what you'd see way back in the day. Yeah, so first off, we've got a springbok, a springbok. Then here we have our rowan antelope. These, I believe, were made by Bongo Hardwood. We come along here. We've got our hemsbok. Right in the back. We'll we'll go around the back and get closer looks at all these antelopes. We've got a black vulgabeast. Then we've got our sable antelope. And we got some uh, nyala, just a pair of nyala in this one. And finally we got our Barbary sheep or our dad. These were made by Frazzle and Nicholas Line Rider. These are modded animal Barbary sheep. Yeah, so let's go back here and check this out. So as you can see, each uh, stable, these two are identical, but take a look on the inside. They have little cubicles, so the animals can come in. And if the staff wants, they can you know, open and close the gates as needed, and the doors. So, yeah. The Nyala just have the small room here, but if you want to give them more room, you can close up this gate, close up this gate, and then give them some extra space. But then the Aldads will have less space, so. Yeah, it's a little bit of flexible housing. And yeah, we also got some uh, little shade thing with some hay. These are little like holding pens type thing, I guess, if you want to introduce new antelopes. If we want to bring new wildebeest, we can just have them held here for a little bit, make sure they all get along with the ones in there, and then release them in. Yeah, here's a Hemsbok, a wildebeest, the sable, they got a, they got a little baby, little baby sable there. Onyala, where's the male? There's the male. And the, the Barbary sheep. This side, you can see we've got four gates here, so the staff wants to walk in and out. Like I guess it's a big identical building. I just copy pasted it. Got a Rowan. Like these are modded animal, not base game. Really good job they did on it. And a sprung walk. And this is just the old the giraffe exhibit, but we've seen this before. Nothing really added here. So these, I know I said before, in game these are reticulated giraffe, but they should be southern giraffe. Oh, if you look in the back there, you can see a little preview of what's gonna show up in the next episode. A bit of Avery reaction. Yes, I believe. Actually, wait. Before we see the bears, I almost forgot we got two more hoofstock yards. This one, uh, this one's okay. I'm not super happy with this hoofstock yard, but. Along here, we got our our buffalo, our cake buffalo, and the enclosure behind them is empty. But in the future, I do want to add some, maybe maybe add some bison there. But the zoo doesn't have them yet. They still need to import the bison. Along with some other cool temperate animals, antelope, I think we'll add to the zoo. Yeah, let's see our buffalo. 
I don't think they can actually enter this the night room here. I think they're too fat. Yeah, well, they cannot enter the night room, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, and people can come all the way around here. This one's still empty, but in the future we've got some things to pull in there. And last but not least, the bear enclosure. It's ironic it's the last thing because this is probably the first thing I've pulled that I've showcased in this episode. But yeah, this bear enclosure is based on the old bear enclosure that used to exist at the Johannesburg Zoo. And I had to build the Johannesburg Zoo's old bear enclosure because one of my oldest memories as a person is of this bear enclosure. Uh, yeah, I believe they just they stopped using it early 2000s, probably like 2004 or something. But the actual bear enclosure was built in 1939, or it was opened in 1939. So that's what we got here. And you can see it's just a platform there, concrete platform, and. Uh, the trench here, so the bears obviously can't jump and maul your face. Gotta thank uh, someone who's been, I've mentioned before in the series, Nix. He's found a lot of the old South African zoo pictures, so he found some pictures of the bear enclosures I could use for reference. And yeah, uh, later he found some other pictures where they showed some of the enclosures had a bit of grass in them, but uh, yeah, that was after I bought this, so unfortunately they all get concrete for now. Maybe in the future I'll add some grass. But also what the, the zoo did is that they had um, to join these two, the two enclosures, they combined enclosures. Because in total there are four enclosures, you can see here. To combine them what they did is they add like some climbing frames so the bears can actually go, go over into the others. They were, didn't have four sightable doors so in the future I will do that. But now they're all four separate enclosures. So we have our brown bears over here. Got the little pool here, this is the... Uh, this isn't in-game water, this is the uh, that pool enrichment item. The, I don't remember when it came, but yeah, that's what that is there. And we got our sun bears? These are sun bears, right? Sun bears, yes. I know my stuff. Then our Asiatic black bears. I don't think any of these bears can actually climb down the stairs, unfortunately. And over here we have another Asiatic black bear, but I was, like I said, in the future I was thinking maybe I could put a polar bear, move the polar bears from their crappy enclosure to a slightly less crappy enclosure, but still crappy. But this guy, he can actually go inside the, the night room a little bit at the back there. Most of them can't, but because of the angle of this one, this this guy can actually go inside. And yeah, if you, like I said, the Johannesburg Zoo, they, you don't have bears in these enclosures anymore. Nowadays, the Lima enclosures, and they, they look very different. So all these moats were pulled up, and there's like a big, like, aviary structure over it. But yeah, I'll throw some pictures of what it used to look like, some of the reference pictures I had. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this enclosure turned out. As you can see, it's all very rounded. So I had to make a big use of the mud column and circle technique. It was quite a pain to build, but the results are good. We can come here through the backstage area. Got some gates. So if you want the bears to come in and out, they will come through this gate. We open this here. Got these weights to open and close the Calls the, the fences, the gates. Yeah, they're night rooms. And there actually is Keeper Path here. And this was only made possible thanks to the free build mod by Kai, which allows you to be a lot more lenient with the, the paths and stuff, because there is actually a path above me. So the keepers, and later when I let guests in, they can actually walk on top there. In game, you wouldn't be allowed to have uh, paths so close to each other vertically. Like the path would have to be a lot higher. But thanks to the free build mod, that's not an issue. So yeah, 
simple backstage, you know, just bars. Ooh, lag spike there. The game is auto saving, but yeah. Come through here. There you can see some of the stairs are bleeding through there. That's I, I couldn't do much about that. Is either actually have stairs that keepers and guests can use or or no stairs at all but I wouldn't have to have this but eh, it's it's not a big deal it's not that intrusive yeah come up here we get another view of the bears from up top and add a double fence here just so no one accidentally falls in and becomes bear child Yeah, that's all I got to show for this episode. Let's get out of Tejid Cam. See everything from above. So this is the, the animal hospital. All our cages. Come over here. See our little roofstock barns. And finally the bear enclosure. So yeah. A lot, a lot of the stuff I showed today is gonna get removed eventually, like these with stock enclosures will get replaced by better enclosures. The bear enclosure though is gonna stay for a while. I might do what Johannesburg Zoo did and turn them into, you know, Lima or primate enclosures, but I'm not sure. But they're gonna stick around for a while. With some minor renovations here and there, like I said, add the platform so bears can actually go between the enclosures. Maybe put polar bears here. Yeah, I really like how this bear enclosure turned out. And it looks pretty much, it looks very similar to what Janus book had, which I'm really happy with. Yeah, that's the episode. Sorry it's been so long since the Claytain Zoo episode came out. Like I said, I've been I've been really enjoying building for Cloudfall Zoo, so that's what I've been doing, but I wanna get back in it. In the future, you know, I'm gonna go build in this new area. I think building in this new space will give me more motivation because building in the old space here is kind of like I don't know. I'm just not so motivated to build there. Don't worry. Big updates coming and eventually you'll see I'll renovate this entire just like this entire area will get renovations. We'll come back to the reptile park. Next episode, like I said, you'll see there's a new building here. I'm going to add more aviaries along here. Build some Pretoria Zoo style line enclosures at the back, and yeah. Don't worry, this project isn't going anywhere, like I said. It's gonna go up to, on, into modern times. Really looking forward to that. Especially integrating some of the old enclosures, like this bear enclosure, into newer ones. But anyway, yeah, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one, which hopefully won't take, I don't know, six months? Or was it six months? It was really long. It was like three DLCs between this episode and the last one. Yeah. Hopefully it won't take so long. And there'll be more Cloud Falls, even if Clay takes it, it does take a while to come out. So see you then. Bye.